If you're like me and need just a little extra boost in helping with your writing, then Grammarly is the tool that you want to use. And so today I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to get started using that right away. So let's head over to our web browser. I'm using Chrome in this case. And all we need to do is search for Grammarly and click on the first tab here. And we can sign up for free or you can sign up with your Google account and you select what you're using it for. And these are just questions to help Grammarly know better about you and how to help best help you out. So I'm doing emails, I'm doing internal, and then you select which apps that you're using the most. So I use a lot of Google Docs, I use Gmail, so we'll select all those. And then it'll take you to this screen that you can continue using the free version or you can pay for the pro version, whichever you prefer. It breaks down the differences here, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna stick with the free version. And you got two options. You can use it just for Windows or you can use it for Windows and Chrome. I recommend using the Windows and Chrome version so that if you're on Chrome using any of your applications there, Grammarly will also help you out. Like for instance, email and that sort of thing. And it's downloading an extension here. So we're just gonna open that up and install. And with this, we're gonna enable the extension so that it's already built in to the extension. And then we're gonna open up the desktop version here. We're gonna sign into existing account, continue to Grammarly, open Grammarly, you're all set, click next. And here we go. This is the main page that you will see on Grammarly. We're gonna do one other thing up here is we're just gonna pin Grammarly to the toolbar so that it's always there, always available as we need it. It comes with this demo document that you can just to try it out, which we're going to use. But you can also upload your own document or any other files that you want Grammarly to take a look at. So let's just click on this demo document for example sake. Now on the right side, you'll see an overall score of your document based on the writing goals you set. You can adjust these goals by choosing your audience, your formality level, domain, like, you know, if it's academics or business or whatever you're looking for, and intent, you know, what, whatever you're trying to do. If you're trying to uh, teach or inform, uh, tell a story, whatever the case is, right? And once you set those, Grammarly recalculates your scores based on providing feedback tailored to those goals. So that's kind of a nice way of just gauging where your document fits in what it's trying to do. Now, when it comes to fixing the document, you can see there's all sorts of like highlights here and underlines so that it, it's kind of walking through and has all these kind of different things that it's looking for to fix, okay? And so what it's doing is it's starting at the beginning of the document and is gonna walk you through each one. And so we have here, we go misspellings is misspelled and it's showing you what it's gonna correct it to. So you can click on accept or dismiss. We wanna accept that, right? And then so you can go to the next one and go, here's a great one. This is the wrong effect. It should be effect. So you can accept that. And you just kind of work your way through there for misused commas, you could accept that, right? And you'd work through all these changes as you need to. And as you do that, you can see your overall score here changes. It gets better and improves as you're correcting these mistakes. Now, one of the things I really like is the clarity, okay? And this is, this is one of the features that I really like. I mean, there's a lot of tools that have like spell correct and, and comma and punctuation and things like that. But what this does is based on those settings, it is it is telling you how clear your message is getting across, which is always a thing that I struggle with. I, I write much like I talk. So sometimes that's not always as clear as in written word. And it's saying blue underlines indicate that is a much clearer way, fewer words, much more clear. I like that. So we're going to accept that. OK, the next one is remove wordiness. OK. So now it's, it's talking about a sentence that is unnecessarily wordy, right? So we'll click on that, and it could be an unnecessarily wordy sentence, right? So you eliminate a few of those words. So you can see just by going through there, you can really clean up, and it makes your writing much more clear, which is the ultimate goal, to, to make sure that your message is getting across. You can see what the engagement and delivery suggestions those are part of the pro package so if you want those suggestions you'll have to upgrade to the pro you just have to decide if that's worth it to you so one of the cool things that is included even in the free version is to write with generative ai 
And this is really a powerful tool to help you craft that letter or writing from scratch so that it's not just a matter of uploading a document and changing it out. Now you can use it to actually write and create something. All right, so once you click on that up at the top, you will first set your voice and you can click, oh, I want that more casual. And then your tone, I want it to be personable. Your profession, product designer, we'll leave that English and you use this voice, okay? And then I would go down here and I would say, write a greeting for a product development meeting. Okay, you click on there and there you have. So you go, now it says, good morning. I hope you're all doing well. I'm excited to welcome you. And so it gives you all of that and you can make suggestions. You can go, you know what? I want to shorten that. I want it to be even a little bit shorter. There's just a one sentence and then we can go, I like that. And then you can go down here and just click on insert. Boom, and it inserts it in there and you're ready to go. And then you can make other suggestions or you can get more ideas. And once you have everything the way that you want it, you can just go over here to the top, click on these few lines here that says menu, and you can download that as a Word document. And then you can open it up later into Word and it's available and able to use that way. Or you could just highlight it here and copy it and paste it into an email or, or wherever you, you wanna use it. But now I want to talk about the real power of Grammarly, and that is how it can work across multiple apps to be able to use right where you need it. Okay. For example, let's go to Google Documents. So we're just going to navigate here, open up Docs, and let's open up this business letter here. So this is one of the templates that's just built into Google Docs. All right, so I just added some generic text in here, and you can highlight that. You go down here, and you go, how about we just want to improve it? Okay. And so it's gonna take this section and we have a couple of options. Now they kind of rewrote it here or we can go, I just wanna make this more assertive, right? So it's gonna work on that. And then you go here and then you insert it and it swaps that out for a more assertive tone. And then all the other elements apply that if you have a misspelled word, you go, this product is great, okay? You click on that and you can modify it. And so with that, Grammarly sort of goes with you wherever you're doing your writing, whether it's Google Documents or in your email. And once you have your desktop application installed, it also works on Word and Excel and all of the other programs that you have installed on your desktop. So Grammarly is an incredibly powerful tool and it has been for a long time, but now with the generative AI features built right into the free version, it is a game changer when it comes to writing great quality text. So I hope this video helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.